These are the Vivo Barefoot Tracker Forest Escapes. And in this video, we're gonna be putting them to the test. Do you which kind of Satoshi lads? How are you all doing? Welcome to this video on the Vivo Forest Tracker Escapes. As I mentioned already, I have put these through their paces. I've clocked up over 100 kilometers on them and I've really, really put them to the test. Now you might be wondering what happened to the hair. Well, I had actually filmed this with my hair and um, I got it cut yesterday, but realized that I had to refilm uh, because it was slightly out of focus and I'm sure you didn't want to be looking at me slightly out of focus if you want to look at me at all, that is. But anyway, let's get stuck into it. The Vivo tracker forest escapes now vivo are aiming these at hikers and trekkers they have worked together with wilderness experts to create a boot that they believe feels at home in the toughest of conditions so probably the most notable part of these boots are the uh, michelin soles and they have quite a deep lug decent grip which i'll get on to later but uh, you know, they look good. Apologies now for the dirt in between them. I had these walking out yesterday. The leather looks really nice. Apparently they have used a uh, sustainable, uh, ethically sourced uh, leather from local farms. They've got these uh, really soft ankle supports, which is quite unique for a hiking boot. And it, uh, But it, it, it does go along with the whole Vivo ethos. So the boots are breathable and they are water resistant, not waterproof, water resistant. They have this breathable mesh inside them that creates this microclimate uh, inside the boot, keeping you warm in cold conditions, but also keeping you dry and cool in hot conditions. You also get this balsam from Vivo to keep the leather nice and, uh, nice and soft. In reviewing these boots, what I wanted to do is I wanted to look at them in particular areas. I wanted to test out the breathability and uh, the water resistance of them. I wanted to test out these uh, flexible uh, ankle supports. I also wanted to test out uh, the grip on them, uh, how comfortable they were, the comfiness, and the durability of the boot. Just before I do get stuck into the review, um, these are Vivo barefoot shoes. They are a zero incline from ankle to toe. That means that they, they are pretty flat, which is quite unique for a hiking boot. If you do want to get these, keep that in mind that you're going to have to change the way you walk, get used to a barefoot shoe before you do anything. If you are already used to barefoot shoes, then there's no problem there. But if you're looking to jump into these straight away, just keep in mind that, that there will be a, a period where you're gonna have to get your feet to adjust to uh, the zero drop of the heel. Question for you, are you thinking about getting the boots or do you already have them? What do you think of them? And do you think you will purchase them? Let me know in the comments below what you think and let's have a discussion about them. Starting off with the water resistance and breathability, very pleasantly surprised with these boots. The, the breathability uh, was fantastic. The microclimb that they claim seems to work, seems to really, really work. Um, probably the hottest uh, temperature I had was about 29 degrees and the uh, 29 degrees um, I walked over, uh, walked over Crowpatrick, went to the far side of Crowpatrick, walked up, down, back into Westport, total of 16 kilometers. Hottest temperature, as I said, was 29 degrees, and I was walking on uh, tarmac roads, hard tarmac roads, um, very, very humid that day as well. And the only bit of sweat that I had in my foot was just in between my toes. So very pleasantly surprised with the breathability of these. The coldest temperature I experienced in these boots was about zero degrees. And I must say, I didn't feel any cold. They were, they were quite warm, which was, which was really, really nice to, 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 to see. Now, I don't know how they would do in, in colder conditions, but in zero degrees, I had no issue whatsoever. The water resistance was very, very interesting as well. I liked the way they held out. Of course, they are water resistant, so they will uh, let in, but on uh, numerous occasions, they did hold up. I think the longest was about up to three hours. But I did walk a trail um, 
that had quite a boggy start to it. They held out for about three hours before they started letting in a bit. Um, by the time I got the halfway point of that trail, I took them off for about an hour, 45 minutes. Uh, by the time I had my feet back in them, they were reasonably dry. And by the time I finished the trail, my, 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 my feet were totally dry. So excellent, the breathability and the waterproofing in these boots are excellent. Moving on to the ankle support and the ankles on these boots, as you know, as you can see, are very, very flexible. Very happily surprised with them because it's a very interesting thing what happens. Because it's a barefoot shoe, it, it tries to um, engage your foot as much as possible as it would as if you were wearing uh, no shoes at all. And with the foot and the ankle engaged, what I was finding was that it, it sort of improves your grip, it improves your balance because you're, you're working and at that sort of movement, that sort of movement with your feet and your ankles working together, definitely I felt strengthened my ankles. Um, and it's an interesting thing because boots are so rigid, we come to rely so much on, on the support that they give. But when we're actually working on, uh, on, on on the natural supports and it, it, it does seem it did seem to strengthen my ankle which was I found really really interesting and fascinating. The grips. The grips uh, as I mentioned before nice deep lugs on the boot nice deep lugs um, they offer decent support decent support they're, they're okay, they're okay, it, 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 it does well, it does well. Uh, I have gone through some wet conditions and as I said, it holds up okay, it holds up okay. Uh, grip is decent, um, I think with the trifecta of uh, ankles, feet and grip. Um, this is where you're really getting, uh, it, just, it, just, it just kind of all works together to kind of, kind of give you that bit extra support and a bit extra grip. Now I did try to test it out on some slippy uh, uh, fallen trees, um, it did slip a bit but uh, no, no it's, it's good, it's, it's good, it's good. I must say, I must say like, I, I'm happy enough with, with the grip, happy enough with it. it, it does a decent job. Now the comfiness of these boots. So to start off with, uh, I had a small sizing issue. I got these at, I don't know if you can see there, upside down, 44. Uh, I got them 44, that would be my normal one. I'd normally be about, about a size 10 um, normally, uh, UK, so 44 uh, EU. And I just felt they were just slightly too big, kind of with the wide toe box and the um, just, how loose kind of the, the 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 shoe is and kind of how they want to give you that natural feel i think it was just a tiny bit too too big i've got around that by using 100 mile socks and a pair of silver light hiking uh, socks and the two of them work together and i've had no issues with any hot heat spots I had a bit of a heat spot on the back of the ankle beforehand but uh, the two socks together work super well no issues with blisters. I haven't, I'm yet to get a blister in these boots, even though I've walked considerable uh, distances on them. I mean, the only thing I'd say is because they're a barefoot shoe, um, and you're, if you're on really rocky terrain, the jaggedness of the rocks, can't, you can't, you do start to feel it. You do start to feel um, a much more of a sensation on the bottom of your foot, and it can kind of get a bit sore. Now, at the same time, I'm still trying to um, I'm, I'm still trying to condition my feet for barefoot shoes, so working on I'm still working on that. Uh, another another issue was probably because I'm still working on changing my walk, which is another thing that you have to consider if you're going to switch to barefoot. Um, heel bashing can be an issue. I am still kind of heel bashing. What I'm finding is. As I'm getting to the end of a trail, uh, I'm getting a bit tired and the heels are going down um, a bit more. So I just feel it slight bit more on the heels. But for long distance trails, they're an excellent shoe. They come into their own uh, when you go from uh, uh, fields or, 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 or trails or something like that and you get pulled onto a country lane, the hard tarmac. These really come into their own and they're super comfortable. Uh, uh, switching back and forth and they're, they're just an excellent trail shoe. Moving on to the durability. Unfortunately, durability is where the boots do fall down for me. Uh, it's where 
I think there's improvements needed, um, particularly with the pricing of the boots. It's about well, the boots about 200, 200 euro. Um, so uh, they're pr pricey enough, and for that price, you just hope that the durability would be a bit better than what it is. I was talking with Line Man Photography on Insta. You can check him out, and we were both saying that um, it, it really needed a toe cap. There's no toe cap on the boot. I think that's a massive problem, particularly if you're going uh, up uh, shaly mountains, rocky mountains. It, it really does tear up the leather and the leather just doesn't seem too that strong enough. Now, as you can see here on the toes, it's just, it has worn a bit. The, the, the balsam does work to a certain extent to kind of buff that out a bit but it does wear far too easily for the price so i would highly recommend that you do not bring these up rocky mountains overall these are excellent boots they are my number one trail boots um, over a uh, number of terrains that I've tested them uh, I, any trail that I walk on I will be using these boots I absolutely love them um, yeah it's just it, it is a pity about the durability but you can but you can kind of get around that if you're just sticking to trails I love the balance between wearing them on um, in fields and then on trails and then coming off onto hard um, uh, tarmac, uh, tarmac or as you Americans say asphalted uh, country lanes. Um, really really love them as I said they're going to be in my boots for the future on the trails. Highly, I couldn't highly recommend them enough the only thing is as I said if you're going to use them on the mountains, I would advise you probably not to use them on Shaley Mountains. I really do hope that Vivo look to maybe strengthen the leather and giving them a, a, a toe cap. If they did, if they did create a, a, a mountain tracker, if you will, I'd definitely be trying it out and I'd definitely be interested in trying it out because I re I'm really enjoying uh, the whole barefoot uh, shoe experience. So just to finish off, I would really like to say thank you to Vivo for sending me uh, these boots uh, to test out and to give feedback on. Thank you so much. I hope you've found this review useful. If you have and you're saying to yourself, I'd like to buy that fella a tea or a coffee or even a pint. Well, you can on Kofi. You can check out my Kofi page and you can support the channel. Thank you to all my Kofi supporters as is and can I just say a big deep heartfelt thank you to Carol Lang and Ellie Berry who have uh, the, your continual support, your continual messages over these last few months which have been extremely difficult for me. Um, thank you for being friends and thank you for supporting me um, um, along the way. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like these videos and if you want to check out my other videos, please, 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 please do. All interactions, everything like that are um, a massive help for the algorithm. All that's really left to do is say, uh, Thank you and goodbye and I'll see you soon. Take care.